Okay, so um, in this show, I would like to explain um, a little bit about a person wants to have the divine presence, wants to have blessings in his life. Okay, okay. How do we have protection? How does a person have problems when a person sins? Right, he creates a um, damage in his aura. Again, when we say aura, this is a little bit. Uh, it's not the same. We're talking about here Kabbalah. We're talking about his, let's just say aura, but you know, it's in Torah. It's not the same thing as we, we say aura because that's the only thing I. It's a makif, the makif, okay? The makif for a person when a person wants blessing in his life, right? We have an inner o pnimi and o makif. Okay, and we know that, uh, especially the Sfaradim, when they wear the tzitzit, wear the undergarment, the tzitzit, okay, they usually put it inside, inside the pants. Ashkenazim put it outside. The reason we, uh, Kabbalah says to put it inside is because it's an opnimi, it's an inner light. An inner light, the klipot, the other side, the evil side, are able to have grasp in it and able to extract nourishment for themselves, which Helps, uh, which does not help the person, actually damages the person. If they take his energy, his nourishment, spirituality, and he's, la he's lacking that. So he's lacking things in his life. Okay? But uh, tzitzit, the tali, the, the big one that we use, right, in the, in the mornings, uh, that is all makif. That we don't put inside. Why? It's outer. It's supposed to protect you. Okay? So the more person has protection, especially his, his outer, nothing can penetrate in him okay and uh, troubles come that's when trouble come when they are able to penetrate when a person sins especially the big things he doesn't have any any protection obviously a person needs to repent so what are the couple of things that a person can help himself with with his outer aura okay again with his makif uh, one would be a couple of things okay one would be tefillin putting on tefillin Right, putting on tefillin gives you a, helps you gives you a market. Talit putting on talit. Talit. Every morning we put talit in tefillin when we pray, right? Even in the we supposed to be to put, right? But it's a different uh, different type of tefillin, higher level. Shmusha Rabba. Okay, but it's proper to put on tefillin as much as you can. If you if some people, most people just pray with it. But if a person can put on throughout the day while he's at home, we can learn with it till the sunset. It's proper to do and good to do. Okay, so talit to put on, tefillin to put on, right? We have tefillin of the hand, tefillin of the rosh. Those help. Um, sitting in a sukkah, especially sukkah sitting, when it comes to sukkot, it's very important to sit in the sukkah all the day, especially sleeping in there. Person is just, you have to live in there for seven days. And this is very powerful because you're putting talit and it's not your whole body, right? Mikve going right into the mikve waters is very powerful too, but how long can you be there? You're just there a couple of, a little bit. But in a sukkah, you are sitting there for a while. So that is very intense, very powerful. It will give you a makif, very powerful makif protection for the whole year. Right? So sitting in the sukkah for seven days, actually living there, eating there, you know, learning in there. Sleeping there is proper too, not everyone does it, but it's proper to do. Okay, Allah. So this will give you a very powerful makif. Another thing is that people don't know is blessings. When a person blesses on water and eat when you eat, the bachot that we make, the, the blessings that we make and when, when we eat, all the blessings that you make gives you a makif. It's very important, very powerful protection. Especially nowadays, learning Torah, a huge protection, but really learning Torah. People want to. People want to have uh, blessings, but without learning Torah is impossible. Learning Torah is one of the strongest things. Learning, but really dwelling in the learning, in learning, not just learning on the outside. Really dwelling into the into into the words, writing down, highlighting stuff. Really learning. Okay, and when you do that, that light that comes to you from the Torah learning, it becomes a makif and it's protection for everything. Anything in life, a person really learns, gonna see really, really huge results in his life. Okay, Kabbalah learning even higher again, but you have to have all the levels. And again, Kabbalah learning should obviously a person needs to keep Shabbat and keep everything he needs to keep. Okay, up to here.